Hello Railfans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be doing another freight car here, and we're going to be building this CSX coil car. And this is based on the new ones with the white website logo lettering. Now unfortunately in real life they are a much darker blue, but we just don't have that color in Minecraft. Blue concrete is about the darkest blue we have. If you want it darker, you can just use polished blackstone and polished blackstone stairs instead of all the blue. But I went with the blue for mine here. So this is what it looks like. Now let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we'll start off with the coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak men's gate. Then on the next block forward on the bottom, we're gonna put a netherite wheel on each rail and then an Enron axle. In front of that, we're gonna go three wide of upside down deep slate tile stairs and a back to back T-shaped pattern. In front of that, another set of netherite wheels and an Enron axle. Then we'll go through and put a hopper on the side of all four of these wheels. Then we're gonna put two spruce fence gates in the middle of each side and open them. Then we'll come on the top middle and we'll do a line of four lapis lazuli up here. And then we're gonna extend that past the wheels on the middle, another 13 blocks long past the wheels. So there should be 13 there. Then on the next block forward on bottom in front of this, a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then again, we'll go three wide with upside down deep slate tile stairs and a back to back T-shaped pattern. Then in front of this, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we'll go through and put a hopper on the side of all four of these wheels. And then in the middle, we'll open two spruce fence gates on each side. And then four more lapis lazuli on this top middle. Then take a dark oak stair for the coupler at this end and stack it up to this lapis block. And then under that coupler, we'll put a sideways dark oak vent gate. Now we're gonna take out a warp slab. And on this top outside edge here, we're gonna come two out to the side here and two out to this side. Then come to the other end and do the same thing. So two slabs here and two here. Then on this inner edge of the lapis on top, we're gonna do a full row of warp slabs across here to the other end. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Do a full row of warp slabs across here to the other end. Then on this outer edge in between here, we're gonna put a full row of warp trap doors across here to the other end. And same thing on this side, a full row of warp trap doors across here. Then we're gonna come on the end of the car here and put a warp fence gate in this corner, one in this corner. Same thing here, so one here, and one in this corner. Then we're gonna take out warped fences and right here, we're gonna put a column of two, and on this side, a column of two. Then, we'll come up here and crouch, and in between these fences, we're gonna put three warp fence gates coming across here. And of course, we're gonna repeat it at the other end. So two warp fences on this side, two here. Then come up here and crouch, and put three warp fence gates coming across right here. Then on this end, we're gonna come out here and crouch and we're gonna get a jungle trap door on this fence gate and then close it for the brake wheel. Then behind that fence gate, we're gonna put a flower pot. Then on the next block back right here, we're gonna go five wide with a single layer of lapis lazuli. And then we're gonna bring it all the way across this side. And we're gonna stop one block before the end here, then come across this end and back up this side. Then above that, we're gonna to switch to blue concrete. And we're gonna do two layers of five coming across the end. And then extend this whole side down too tall with blue concrete. And then when 
we get here, come across this side. And then all the way back up this side, two blocks tall with blue concrete. Then we're gonna come on top of the end, on the center, and fill the middle three blocks with blue concrete. And then we'll extend that all the way down across the top, three wide in the middle. And we'll bring that right down to the other end of the car here. Just like that. Now come on this top outside edge, put three warp stairs on the end here, and three on this end. Same thing on this side, three outward facing stairs here. Then right here we're gonna put two warp fences, and two warp fences on this side. Same thing here, two warp fences here. And on this end, three stairs, two fences here. Then across this, we'll put three sideways warp fence gates here, and three here. Then, on this outer edge on the middle, we're gonna put five warp stairs on either side, and that will allow us to find the center. Under the center, we're gonna put three item frames like this, and then we can fill in the center. That was just to find it. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Put five warp stairs on either side to find the center, and get three item frames under here, and a stair here. Aligned with this center item frame in the center, put a temporary block up here, close a warp trap door on this side, then on this side, then one on top, and take out the temporary block. Then we're gonna come on top and fill the rest of this anywhere we haven't built something, three wide in the center with blue carpet, and bring that down to the other end here. Then five blue carpet across this end, then come down here, one blue carpet here, and three here. Then we're gonna come on this bottom edge of the lapis, and we'll start on the left-hand side here. And we're gonna put an acacia sign here, then two birch buttons. Skip a block and an acacia sign. Skip a block and two birch signs, then a birch button, then an acacia sign. Then we'll come from this right hand end and we're gonna put an acacia sign on this corner, then two birch buttons. Skip a block and an acacia sign, then a birch sign and a birch button here. Now we have to repeat that pattern on the other side. So we'll come over here. On this corner, we'll do an acacia sign here, then two birch buttons. Skip a block and an acacia sign, then a birch sign and a birch button. Then we'll come down from this end, put an acacia sign on the end here, two birch buttons, skip a block and an acacia sign. Then skip a block, two birch signs, then a birch button, and then an acacia sign here in the middle. Then we're gonna come up here on the end, and we're gonna put three birch signs across the middle right here, and three birch buttons under it. Then we repeat it on this end. So across the middle of this end right here, three birch signs, and three birch buttons underneath that. Now we're gonna make some banners that come into a loom with a blue banner and white dye. And we're gonna put a vertical on the left, a horizontal on the top, and the bottom. New banner. Horizontal on bottom and top, then a diagonal. New banner. This diagonal, then the opposite diagonal. Then go to blue dye and put a blue border around all three of these letter banners. And then we'll come place these and that's what the item frame's for. So we'll just come on these item frames and use the banners to put CSX. And then we'll do the same thing over on this side here. Use the banners to put CSX on this side as well. Then we're gonna grab a birch button again and we're gonna put two birch buttons under it like that. And of course, we'll do the same thing on this side. Two birch buttons under here, just like that. And there we have it, folks. 
we've completed our new website logo, CSX Coil Car. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Like I said, if the color is too bright for you, you can use polished blackstone and polished blackstone stairs, and then dark oak for all the trapdoors and fences, but I went with blue for mine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great day. Stay safe out there, rail fans.